Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Tech Gitter Official. In today's video, we're going to take a deep and practical look at Windows 11 LTSC, focusing specifically on the latest Windows 11 LTSC 24H2 release, which is the official 2024 version provided directly by Microsoft. This is not a modified build, not a tweaked ISO, and not a third-party customization. It's a genuine, original Windows release, designed for long-term use and stability. In my opinion, and based on real-world testing, this is one of the best Windows 11 versions you can realistically use in 2026, especially if you care about performance, reliability, and a clean operating system without unnecessary background activity. In this video, I'll clearly break down the key differences between Windows 11 LTSC and the standard Home or Pro editions, including what features are missing, what you gain in return, and why many power users, gamers, and professionals are quietly choosing LTSC over the mainstream versions. We'll also talk about long-term support, system stability, performance benefits, update behavior, and bloatware, so by the end of this video, you'll know exactly whether Windows 11 LTSC makes sense for your personal PC, gaming system, or work machine in 2026. My goal here is not to hype anything up, but to give you a clear, honest, and practical breakdown so you can make the right decision for your own setup. If you enjoy detailed Windows and performance-focused content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to TechGitter Official, and enable the notification bell so you don't miss future videos covering Windows optimization, stability, and real-world tech solutions. Let's get started. As you can see on my system right now, I'm running Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC, Evaluation. If I open Settings, go to System, and then click on About, you'll notice that this is a genuine, official LTSC build from Microsoft, not a modified or third-party version. The key detail to pay attention to here is the IoT Enterprise LTSC label. This doesn't mean it's limited to IoT devices only, what it actually means is that this edition falls under Microsoft's long-term servicing channel, which gives it the longest support lifecycle available for Windows 11. This version is designed for environments where stability matters more than constant feature changes. That's why it receives long-term security updates and bug fixes without frequent feature upgrades, something we'll discuss in more detail shortly. For many users, especially power users and professionals, that long support window is one of the biggest advantages of LTSC. Now, if you're wondering where you can actually get Windows 11 LTSC, the good news is that it's available directly from Microsoft's official website. You don't need any unofficial sources or modified ISOs. A simple search will take you to Microsoft's download page, where they offer this version as an evaluation build. By default, Microsoft provides a 90-day evaluation license, which can be extended multiple times, allowing you to legally use the operating system for close to a full year for testing or evaluation purposes. If you decide that LTSC is the right choice for you and want to use it long term, proper licenses are also available, mainly targeted at enterprises, organizations, and advanced users who prefer a stable, no bloat Windows environment. This makes Windows 11 LTSC not just a test build, but a fully legitimate and long term usable operating system when licensed correctly. This combination of official availability, long-term support, and clean design is exactly why many users consider Windows 11 LTSC one of the most reliable Windows versions you can run today, and even well into the future. Now let's briefly look at the installation process, because this is where LTSC already feels different from Windows 11 Home or Pro. The initial setup looks familiar, but the process is noticeably faster, mainly because the installation size is smaller. The biggest advantage here is that you can install Windows 11 LTSC using a local account, without being forced to sign in with a Microsoft account. You simply choose Sign in Options, select Domain Join instead, enter your username, adjust a few basic settings, and that's it. No Microsoft 365 promotions, no Copilot suggestions, no bundled apps, and no advertisements, just the essential Windows setup. After the updates finish installing, you land directly on the desktop without interruptions, which honestly feels refreshing. Once installed, this version truly shows its strength. Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC is designed primarily for enterprises, 
businesses, and device manufacturers, but regular users can absolutely run it on their personal systems as well. One of the biggest highlights is long-term support. This LTSC release is officially supported until October 10, 2034, meaning nearly 10 years of guaranteed security updates without feature changes. During this time, you won't receive experimental features or unnecessary additions, only stability, security patches, and reliability. That's exactly what many users want. Additional official documentation and details can be found on Microsoft's own website, which clearly outlines why LTSC exists and how it differs from mainstream Windows versions. Now let's talk about the real advantages. Windows 11 LTSC does not include the Microsoft Store, Copilot, AI integrations, or most modern bundled apps. Even basic tools like Notepad are classic, lightweight versions, and honestly, they still do their job perfectly. When you open the Start menu, you'll notice there are no pinned apps, no recommendations, and no clutter. The All Apps list is incredibly small, you can scroll through it in seconds. Installed apps are limited to essentials like Windows Security, Snipping Tool, Paint, Notepad, Microsoft Edge, Calculator, and a few core utilities. That's it. No bloatware. No background apps running without permission. Because of this, Windows 11 LTSC feels lighter, faster, and more responsive. The LTSC model prioritizes stability and consistency, which means fewer background services, lower resource usage, and a noticeably smoother experience, especially on gaming systems or lower-end hardware. Of course, there are some trade-offs. You don't get the Microsoft Store by default, but if you really want it, you can install it manually. For most users focused on gaming, performance, or long-term stability, this is easily the best Windows 11 version available in 2026, especially if you want something official and untouched by third-party modifications. Personally, I've used Windows 11 LTSC in the past, and based on my experience, it's an excellent operating system when your priority is performance, stability, and predictability. If you're building or using a gaming PC, a low-end or older system, or a machine where you just want things to work smoothly without interruptions, Windows 11 LTSC is one of the best choices you can make. No forced feature updates, no sudden UI changes, no background bloatware consuming resources, just a clean, lightweight Windows experience that stays consistent over time. For setups where reliability matters more than having the newest features, LTSC really shines. I'm genuinely curious to hear from you. Are any of you already using Windows 11 LTSC as your main operating system? Or are you considering switching to it in 2026? Let me know your thoughts, experiences, or questions in the comments below. I read them all, and they often help shape future videos. That's going to wrap up today's video. If you found this breakdown useful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechGitter Official, and turn on notifications so you don't miss upcoming videos on Windows optimization, performance tweaks, and real-world tech solutions. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.